So today I'm going to be walking you through one day of me attempting to food combine for the entire day. If you don't know what food combining is, basically it is pairing certain types of food together to optimize your digestion so that you have more energy, you feel less bloated throughout the day. It's just incredible. I did the 21 day reset by Kenzie Burke a few months ago and I really felt significant changes. So I want to try it again for a day and see if I can do it. I'm gonna be taking you along a few of my meals I made during the day. So make sure you watch to the end and hit the subscribe button below for more fun health and wellness things like this video. So this morning I actually already got a cold brew with oat milk because I really love coffee. So for my first meal, I am gonna be making something with lots of fruit because I follow Kinsey Burke's food combining 21 day sort of regimen and she recommends eating fruit first so that's what we're gonna do you want to eat fruit by itself so trying to avoid eating fruit with like protein or um, like starches and stuff that's like the whole thing so I'm making a fruit bowl and I'm gonna pair it with this yogurt it's almond milk yogurt this is like a cup maybe half cup I don't know I just scooped in however much yogurt I felt like putting in and now I'm gonna top it so step number one is just wash the fruit because no one wants any germs in their fruit, especially during Corona season. Also get off all of those pesticides. Okay, so I literally worked for an acai bowl place my freshman year of college and I'm obsessive with making bowls look pretty. This is the base, the fruit is on top and now we're gonna add the super healthy add-on nutritious things to top this. So number one is this bee pollen. I love bee pollen. It's supposed to help with allergies. It's just all around so good. Okay, I poured way too many chia seeds on this, but you know, we're just gonna work with it. Lastly, I'm putting maca powder on. Maca powder is super good for balancing your hormones. Also good for your bones, your mind, so many benefits, energy. I love this. I put about one teaspoon on top. Wow, she's so pretty. Food combining is so fun and this is why. Evidence right here. This is the final product. It's really frothy and delicious and yum. Delivery. It's only fair that what do you got here? She's bringing me tea. It's the She's hot cacao tea. latte. You're in the, the vlog. Oh. <laughs> I feel famous. Taste, taste test it. Oh, it's hot. No, it's not really. Oh, it's uh, it's good. Is there peanut butter in there? No. Oh. <laughs> There's two ingredients. Cacao and water. Or milk? No, cacao oh. and oat milk. Oh. Yeah, super healthy. Good stuff. For lunch, I am making cauliflower gnocchi. Um, I'm actually so thrilled because Whole Foods just added cauliflower gnocchi to, I guess, their inventory. I used to always get the cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's. Now I can get it at Whole Foods. Cauliflower gnocchi, as you can see, is simply cauliflower puree, potato flakes, cornstarch, lactic acid, natural flavor, and rice flour. So it's not like the most healthiest thing ever, but it is a better substitute, and it is still relatively healthy and good for you. So. Are you food combining today? I take that as a yes. So I added a pesto sauce on top. First of all, as you can see, the gnocchis are actually so crispy and they tasted good without sauce. So I really recommend, they cooked so, so fast, probably five minutes max on medium high heat. Next, I had these delicious Siete lime chips as a little snack. They're made with 100% avocado oil, which I personally have been obsessed with using. I think it's so good and healthy, lots of healthy fats, all the goods, light and crispy. <laughs> yeah, these are my fave. If you're curious, these are the ingredients. So once again, really good for food combining. I always snack as I cook, so I had Siete chips. And then um, this is the post result. So I actually did have some gnocchi. There's more food than this shows. This is just chicken. We sauteed it, um, or not sauteed it. We put it in a cast iron pan in oil and seasoned it with some paprika, pepper, lemon pepper. And then we put it, put it in the oven at 400 for 15 minutes. And then I sauteed this spinach in avocado oil while the chicken was cooking. 
And yeah, so super delish. You are live. Okay. Okay. Full disclosure, I did have a Justin's peanut butter cup. Actually, I had like <laughs> three of them. So the food combining thing didn't really work out for the entire day, but those meals were all food combined and I did feel overall better aside from kind of listening to my cravings and eating chocolate because I'm out of control with chocolate. Once again, I am not a nutritionist or a doctor, so this way of eating does not work for everyone, but it does work for me. As always, make sure you stay sweaty, hit the subscribe button, follow my channel, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at I'm Sweaty and I know it. Have a great rest of your day and stay sweaty.